In this video, we're going to set up and configure the new Echo Dot 4th Gen and give it a quick review, so stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's going to be a fairly quick one today. If you are familiar with this channel, you know that I have a ton of smart home stuff. And today we're just going to be adding to that with the Amazon Echo Dot 4th Generation. Now this video is perfect for those that are just trying to add a new smart home device to their Alexa lineup, or if you are just getting started, this video will work perfect for you as well. So if you are just getting started, you will want to go through and make sure that you of course have an Amazon account, make sure that you've downloaded the app to your phone and have signed into that app with your Amazon account as kind of the first initial process. Once you have the app downloaded and ready to go, you're gonna to wanna to take your Echo Dot and just go ahead and plug it in with its provided power cable. And we're gonna give that a little bit of time for it to boot up here. And you'll know it's plugged in, the blue light ring will light up at the bottom and then it will go into an orange which will indicate into the setup mode. So once we've done that, we're just gonna to go to our Amazon Alexa app and we're gonna open up the app and wait for a prompt on the phone for when the new Echo Dot is in setup mode. So we'll just go ahead and wait for that to kick off here in just a moment. Once you've clicked on continue, it's going to search for it again. It's going to ask you to select your Wi-Fi network. You're going to want to connect it to the Wi-Fi network that is closest or the best signal where this device is going to sit. So this is going to probably sit in my master bedroom and I have a different network over on that side of the house in order to do it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to connect it to this one at the very top where it says Escape Nigerian Prince. That's going to be the network that's going to be the best signal for this Echo Dot. So we're gonna tap on that, connecting your Echo Dot to Wi-Fi, make sure your device is nearby, plugged in and in pairing mode. You can tell it's in pairing mode because it's in the Updating orange your setup. Device. I'll let you know when it's ready. It says your Echo Dot is now connected. If you have done this before, it's most likely going to save the passwords for the networks that you've used for your various devices. If you have not, it's gonna ask you to type in your Wi-Fi password in order to connect it to that Wi-Fi. So now that it's connected, we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And it says, which room is your Echo Dot in? We're gonna scroll down. We're just gonna tap on master bedroom and hit continue one more time. Teach Alexa your voice. A voice profile your enables. Echo is ready. Uh, voice profile enables Alexa to learn your voice, call you by name and provide enhanced personalization. If you want her to learn your voice, you can go through the continue process or the process right now. I'm just going to go ahead and tap skip. And yes, we'll go ahead and click skip. Where's your echo dot? It's most likely going to have your address right here. If it does not, you can enter a new address. This is going to kind of cater your experience with like weather traffic. So if you ask, Alexa what the traffic is, it's going to tell you depending on the area that you're in. So in this case, this is the correct one. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the little radio dial, hit continue. Coming soon, Amazon Sidewalk. Amazon Sidewalk is shared network that helps devices work better. This can end up like linking your neighbor's devices to each other. I haven't done a whole ton of research about what this is. And so for now, I'm just going to go ahead and tap on later and it's going to take you to your Amazon Music. You can do no thanks if, unless you want to start that free trial. You're ready to start talking to Alexa to learn more about what you can say. Visit things to try from the settings. We can go ahead and click on done. Now that you're at your home screen, you can go through, test out your new dot. You can go into devices and manage it. If you need to add it to a group, you can do that. I've got plenty of other videos on how to set up groups, how to set up routines. Just various things that you can do within your smart home uh, Alexa app and everything that you can get set up. You can certainly set that up and I will link those in the video description, but I'll also put up the cards in the top right hand corner for you to check those out if that is something that you want to go through and set up. But other than that, this setup is pretty straightforward and this dot is now added to the lineup. If for any reason that process didn't work or it didn't give you the prompt, in order to set up the device, you can go up here to where it says the devices you can click on. So if we go back to home, you can actually go to devices, tap on the little plus up here in the top corner, add a device. You're going to add Amazon Echo. And you can see that there's different Echoes in here. You're going to choose Echo, Echo Dot, Echo Plus. You're going to choose the top option. Then you put it up in setup mode, and then you can click yes and go through that process. That's all there is to it. It's a pretty straightforward setup. Now, just a quick review. I've had a little bit of time to play with these things. And is it something that I'm going to go and replace all of my third gens with? 
Probably not, and ultimately that's just because there isn't any like update to these things as far as like features and functionality goes. They even haven't even updated the sound. It uses the same 1.6 inch speaker on the third and the fourth generation, so virtually the sound is exactly the same, and it ultimately just comes down to whether you like the sphere look or whether you like uh, the puck style for the third generation. Now I will say, if you are just getting into the smart home game and you are just looking at purchasing these, again, take that into consideration because if you don't really care, save yourself some cash and opt for the third generations because you're gonna get the same functionality as you would with the Echo Dot fourth gens with the third gens as well. Anyways, that is going to wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, have yourself a happy Thanksgiving and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>